Julie Bolin, incoming SNMMI Technologist Section President, is joining me now. Congratulations on your new role. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be here. I know you want to hit the ground running, so tell me about some of your plans for the upcoming year. You know, I think last year we had such tremendous success in a lot of our initiatives in terms of advocacy and our therapy initiatives, but our workforce pipeline is really one of the areas that I would like to focus on this year. We created a lot of content that we're now ready to utilize, and I want to just figure out how we're going to employ all of these different strategies that we may have. So what are some ways that you can attract young, intelligent, dedicated people to the field of nuclear medicine? Well, I think the wonderful thing about the society is we actually have what would be considered like a national approach, but also more of a grassroots approach. And the national approach is really utilizing these Jobs of Tomorrow docu-series. And the beauty of these is that they'll be available on all of the major streaming platforms, Roku, Tubi, Amazon. And it's not only opportunities for potential students to be able to learn about the field, but it's also opportunities for their parents and their families to see what kinds of careers that these individuals can have. The individuals that are represented in all of these Jobs of Tomorrow docu-series include physicians, scientists, technologists. So it's about educating the public, but also educating students on opportunities that are in nuclear medicine. Now, furthermore, that grassroots approach, that's really where I want to focus my efforts. And we've developed a lot of content that's available for ambassadors to go out into their communities, but I would like to design a way that we can have like a, a big, huge push for this workforce pipeline development, because it's important for us to get out in the community and make ourselves known. You touched on this a little, but I want to delve into it further, and that is the continuing education. There is so much advancement in this field. How do you make sure that people who are already in the field are up to date? You know, I think we have a lot of great strategies for that. And of course, we have traditional mechanisms of continuing education um, at local meetings, national meetings, regional meetings, and of course, opportunities to review information on our published journals. But what we're really trying to do is get bite-sized content and really demonstrate to technologists, these are the ways in which these uh, therapies are already being done in the community. And here's how we can help train you on how to do that. But in a bite-sized portion, kind of a plug and play method. Have you heard feedback from some of the members that is helping you to kind of develop some of these programs? You know, honestly, we have a tremendous pool of talented individuals from across the country. These are individuals that are actually working out in the field and they're working out in the field in terms of educators, clinical technologists, industry representatives. So one of the beauties of nuclear medicine and society of nuclear medicine is we bring all of these individuals to the table and we collaborate and have real true authentic conversations about how we can push that needle just a little bit more. And we're all out in the community, every one of us trying to advocate for our profession and for our patients on a day-to-day basis. Well, good luck because your success is the success of SNMMI and really the success for patients as well. Absolutely. That's what we're all here for. We want to always be pushing the needle a little bit further and seeing just how much more we can do for our community of technologists, educators, professionals, but most importantly for our patients. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much.